China wants to be a leading space power by 2045, and it's getting there fast. Some of these notable achievements include the operation of Beidou Satellite System, the BDS, the Lunar Exploration Program, Mars landing of Tianwen-1, building a new space telescope that will fly in 2024, and of course, Tiangong Space Station. Join us as we take a look at China's Tiangong Space Station finally completed for space exploration. Purpose and Mission Tiangong Space Station is expected to operate for more than 10 years, and China already has plans to launch another spacecraft to work in tandem with Tiangong. In addition to CASC activity, some launches will be conducted by spin-offs from CASC and two other giant state-owned entities, the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corps, the CASIC, KASIC, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the CAS. Some scientists believe that crewed space stations are simply a waste of money. Although China is very cautious about the information and the cost of Tiangan has not been made public, the ISS costs some 100 billion euros or 118 billion US dollars to build and maintain for its first decade. There are two sides to this matter. Some scientists want to do the best science they possibly can and prefer robotic missions, but governments only want to use human spaceflight programs mainly for political purposes. The structure and systems behind Tiangong. After launching China's Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2 space laboratories, now is the time for Tiangong to join its companions, which launched in 2011 and 2016, respectively. It'll be built similar to the United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and the European International Space Station. Tiangong is consisting of a core module attached to two laboratories with a combined weight of approximately 70 tons. The core capsule, named Tianhe, which means Harmony of Heavens, is about the size of a big truck and contains life support and control systems. Also, two smaller modules join Tianhe to extend the space station and make it possible to implement scientific and technological experiments. A giant robotic arm on China's space station has successfully grasped and maneuvered a cargo spacecraft in a crucial test. Now, finally, the station includes 14 internal experiment racks and 50 external ports for studies of the space environment. Next Generation Crewed Spacecraft the crewed mission was successful. The first walk happened by a Chinese female astronaut. It carried out tests alongside the station's robotic service arm, which on Thursday successfully undocked, then redocked the Tanzhou 2 cargo spacecraft for the first time. China also operated on an uncrewed mission named Lunar Exploration Program, which its U-22 rover sent back pictures of what was described by some as a mystery hut, but what was most likely only some sort of rock. Despite leaving behind a considerable space junk, Tianhe started safely to orbit, and its solar panels started operating just one hour and 13 minutes after launch. Although China built the station with no other partners, nine other nations are ready to fly experiments aboard Tianhe. Gong. Wu Yanhua, the vice administrators of the Chinese National Administration, explained that China's slogan for this project is openness and international cooperation. They said that China's space station is not just a national laboratory for space research, but also a powerful platform for international cooperation in China. That cooperation includes space experiments, satellite development, and also training and joining foreign astronauts in China's space station via the Shenzhou spaceship. Following the subject of international cooperation, the white paper offers its international partners to participate in the construction and consultation of China's lunar search station, Limitless, at any level and stage. They can send their own independent spacecraft or pull payloads for space programs. Other companions can also attend to the scientific research data. The white paper that Chinese authorities released have unveiled ambitious plans to expand the country's space exploration in the coming five years. Plans for the next five years include expanded lunar research completion of the space station. The one thing which is shining about this station is that the space station contains new technologies and facilities that have never been used before. But this is just the beginning of the journey. The planes will be even more ambitious on other space exploration in five years. Their major next step is completing the construction of China's space station. All the achievements of China's knowledge and technologies happened after 2021 by launching the six-month mission Shenzhou-13 by the crew aboard Tianhe and also the Kenzo-2 
and Kenzo-3 mission that have accomplished a massive technology. The station's third crewed mission, Shenzhou-14, will follow Tianzhou-4. The mission's three astronauts will be aboard Tianhe to arrive to the 20 metric ton plus Wentian and Mengtian modules, expected to launch around June and August, respectively. The module launches will complete the T-shaped orbital outpost. Tianzhou-5, in addition, will launch ahead of Shenzhou-15, both scheduled for late in the year. Community of Common Destiny A concept that China has proposed recently is the shared future for humanity being in space. But what does it mean? Well, it's predictable that humankind's exploration in space is not going to stop at this level. The competition of owning the space has just begun. China's point of view is that they're going to not only benefit its people, but also help other nations. Also, with the possibility of communication between satellites, they can provide service not only to China or other pioneer countries, but also to those countries that are in need. So, China calls this concept Concept, the shared destiny of all people. One way it can help improve human life is going to happen on your mobile phone. Yes, the remote sensing satellite of China has provided more than 100 million pictures during the past five years. How does it help you? The GPS geniuses. Another way to benefit from satellites is TV channel signals or even weather forecasting. This is how improvements in technologies in space help to improve people's everyday life. The crewed missions are also critical. Even if some people think they're useless, the crewed missions provide a permanent home for observations, data processing capacity, and access for astronauts to perform maintenance tasks and run experiments. ISS current fundings can run only until sometime between 2024 and 2028, so it's probably possible that Tiangong will become the only space station in operation for Earth. Scary, right? The China Survey Space Telescope, or Shuntian, Survey the Heavens is a 2-meter optical telescope that will rival NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and periodically dock with Tiangong refueling and maintenance. It is set to launch in 2023 and will have a larger field of view for peering into the deep universe than Hubble does. How is it living out there on a space station? Well, their station has a Wi-Fi network for wireless connection. There was a 60-minute science lecture from the station to Earth. The whole event was live on TV, and the global audience witnessed this success. Each astronaut wears a bone conduction headphone and microphone for accessible communication in the spaceship. Foods are selected based on astronauts' preferences and in a good variety. Staples included shredded pork and garlic sauce, Kung Pao chicken, black pepper beef, pickled cabbage, and beverages, including a variety of teas and juices, are resupplied by trip of the Tianzhou-class cargo ship. Fresh fruits and vegetables are also stored in coolers. Wang Weifen, the chief astronaut trainer of CNSA, explains, most food is prepared to be solid, boneless, small piece. Condiments, such as pork sauce and Sichuan pepper sauce, are used to compensate for the changes in the sense of taste in microgravity. The station is equipped with a small kitchen for food preparation. They even have a microwave oven provided for astronauts to have hot food whenever they desire. Tempting. Check it out for yourself. If you want to see the space station in the sky, check out this website, n2yo.com, to find out the station's current location and its path, which is planned for the next 10 days. Remember that predictions are only based on models. Models can change quickly because of the slow falling of the space station into its orbit and boosting back up to higher altitudes, but it's not impossible to see it. The station orbits Earth every 91 minutes, so if you find out the time of stations passing over you, you can locate yourself in a dark spot away from the light at night because obviously you're not able to see it during the daylight and start looking for a tiny sparky dot across the sky. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on the Tiangong space station? How would you like living on a space station? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the news that happens in the sky. We'll see you in the next one.